Did you know that the Mexican peso surpassed more than 100 banknote designs worldwide to be named the most beautiful banknote on the planet in 2021? This title came from a rigorous evaluation process with direct comparisons of design, security features, and printing technology among circulating currencies. Behind every familiar banknote lies a tightly controlled manufacturing process. Each small detail is handled with high precision, combining sophisticated printing techniques, specialized security inks, and multiple complex anti-counterfeiting layers. It is a quiet journey, rarely noticed, yet always operating under strict technical discipline. In this video, we take you inside Mexico's banknote production facility, where every peso is created under leading standards of precision, security, and quality control. Today, Mexico produces more than 1,600 million banknotes each year, all under the direct supervision of the Central Bank of Mexico. With two production facilities located in Mexico City in the state of Jalisco, the country has fully mastered its domestic banknote printing process, ending its previous technological dependence on the United States. Localizing the entire production line has not only reduced manufacturing costs, but more importantly, strengthened quality control and security over the money in circulation. On a symbolic level, the peso is more than a means of payment. It represents the stability and economic identity of Mexico. As the currency of the second largest economy in Latin America, the peso circulates widely within the country and appears frequently in regional trade and across many areas along the United States border. In some cases, the peso is even accepted as a means of payment beyond Mexico's borders, reflecting the level of trust that markets and investors place in the Mexican economy. Before a peso banknote is ever printed, everything begins with design, the result of a research, selection, and approval process that can take many months, sometimes even years. Each denomination carries its own message, conveyed through imagery, color palettes, and a carefully calculated system of symbols. It is no coincidence that the axolotl, an endangered species native to Mexico, appears on the 50 peso note. Nor is it accidental that revolutionary figures or influential educators are placed at the center of other denominations. Every visual element is intended to reflect Mexico's history, culture, and national identity. But design is not only about storytelling. It also serves as the first line of defense against counterfeiting. Ultra-fine lines, subtle color transitions, raised print areas, and transparent windows are all positioned with extremely high precision. Semi-transparent zones on polymer substrates, which may appear purely aesthetic, are in fact created using multi-layer printing techniques that are nearly impossible to replicate by hand. The entire layout is constructed using specialized software, forming the foundation for a stable and tightly controlled production process. In currency manufacturing, error is not an option. If you could choose a single image to represent your country on a banknote, what would it be and why? Before any serial numbers are applied or any designs are printed, the first essential element is a special type of paper, one that cannot be found in any ordinary stationery store. This material forms the foundation that determines the lifespan and reliability of the entire banknote. Unlike conventional paper made from wood pulp, Banknote paper is produced from pure cotton fibers harvested from natural cotton. This raw material undergoes multiple strict processing stages to completely remove impurities, while carefully controlling fiber length, twist, and density to create a uniform internal structure. Thanks to its long and durable fiber network, cotton paper is highly resistant to tearing, wrinkles less easily, tolerates moisture well, and maintains its shape even after passing through thousands of hands. This is why paper banknotes can remain in circulation for many years under demanding conditions of use. Cotton also gives banknotes a very distinctive surface feel, dry, lightweight, slightly textured, and accompanied by a characteristic rustling sound. A familiar sensory cue that many generations of people in Mexico can recognize instantly by touch alone. During the paper manufacturing process, Security features are integrated at the very moment when the material is still wet, 
before the fiber structure has fully set. This is the only stage at which security elements can be embedded seamlessly inside the banknote itself. Watermarks, fluorescent fibers, and security threads are not printed on the surface. Instead, they are inserted directly between layers of paper. Once the paper dries, these elements become an inseparable part of the material, making conventional counterfeiting methods virtually impossible. This integration method also allows users to authenticate banknotes with the naked eye, simply by holding them up to the light or viewing them at an angle. On some higher denominations, thin metallic strips with color-shifting effects are added to further enhance security. Once the cotton sheets have stabilized their structure and already contain integrated security elements, they move into a critical stage, the application of the surface security strip. This is an ultra-thin metallic element that produces an optical effect that changes with the viewing angle. The familiar shimmering band seen on banknotes. But the security strip is not merely decorative. It is created using multi-layer holographic technology and then bonded to the paper under extremely high temperature and pressure. The result is a feature that is easily recognizable to the naked eye, yet almost impossible to reproduce with conventional counterfeiting equipment. Each security strip must be cut, aligned, and pressed into the exact position with extremely high precision. Even a slight misalignment, a surface wrinkle, or a tiny area of separation is enough for the entire sheet to be rejected from the production line. For this reason, the process combines automated scanning systems with manual inspection involving skilled workers who oversee and verify each critical step. After the security strip is completed, the banknote paper enters a key stage, offset printing. This is when the official design appears on the surface of the banknote for the first time, defining the entire visual layout. Large cotton sheets pass through multi-cylinder printing systems. Ink is not applied directly to the paper. Instead, it is transferred from a metal plate to an intermediate rubber blanket and only then pressed onto the surface. This method ensures even ink distribution, sharp image definition, and minimal smudging, even when multiple colors are printed on both sides. For the Mexican peso, offset printing creates the background colors, smooth gradients, and abstract patterns a crucial base layer for the security mechanisms applied above. At this stage, even the smallest deviation in alignment or color intensity is unacceptable. An error of less than one millimeter can result in an entire print batch being removed from the production line. After the offset background layer, the banknote enters the intaglio printing stage, one of the most refined and easily recognizable processes. This is also the moment when the banknote truly begins to have a feel in the physical sense. At this stage, ink is pressed directly into the paper using engraved metal plates under extremely high pressure. This process creates sharply raised details such as portraits, symbols, and denomination numbers. When touched, these elements stand out with a distinctive texture that users can immediately perceive with their fingertips. Intaglio printing is not only about tactile recognition, it also serves as a critical security layer, since the depth, thickness, and sharpness of the engraved lines depend closely on the material, pressure, and plate-making techniques, factors that are nearly impossible to replicate with conventional printing equipment. After the offset background layer, the banknote enters the intaglio printing stage, one of the most refined and easily recognizable processes. This is also the moment when the banknote truly begins to have a feel in the physical sense. At this stage, ink is pressed directly into the paper using engraved metal plates under extremely high pressure. This process creates sharply raised details such as portraits, symbols, and denomination numbers. When touched, these elements stand out with a distinctive texture that users can immediately perceive with their fingertips. Intaglio printing is not only about tactile recognition, it also serves as a critical security layer, since the depth, thickness, and sharpness of the engraved lines depend closely on the material, pressure, and plate-making techniques, factors that are nearly impossible to replicate with conventional printing equipment. Not every banknote that comes off the press is allowed to enter circulation. Before moving on to the automated processing line, 
Each note must pass a final manual inspection. Under specialized lighting and magnification, technicians examine every detail. The sharpness of printed images, color consistency, the tactile feel of intaglio printing, and the precise placement of security features. This is a level of inspection that no machine can fully replace. Even the smallest flaw, a stray ink mark or a slightly misaligned element, results in the banknote being rejected immediately, with no exceptions. This stage relies entirely on human experience, concentration, and the trained eye developed over many years of practice. From large format sheets, the banknotes enter the stage where their final dimensions are defined. First, the outer margins are trimmed away to remove excess areas created during the printing process. The sheets are then fed into an automated cutting system where sharp industrial blades perform precisely programmed horizontal and vertical cuts. Each cutting motion is tightly synchronized with the conveyor speed, ensuring that every blade strike occurs at the exact position and at the exact moment. As a result, individual banknotes are separated with uniform dimensions, clean straight edges, no fiber tearing, and no warping. This process runs continuously at high speed and demands a highly stable mechanical system with exceptional repeatability. Even a minor deviation in cutting timing or alignment can affect an entire production batch. After being cut into individual notes, each banknote undergoes a final surface inspection before packaging and storage. High-resolution industrial cameras scan the entire surface at high speed, comparing it against a program reference to detect even the smallest defects, from excess ink and color shifts to blurred details or warped edges. Any note showing an anomaly is automatically removed from the line, ensuring that only banknotes meeting strict technical and visual standards move forward. After passing surface inspection, approved banknotes move into the bundling stage. Here the notes are stacked in fixed quantities, typically in standard bundles or packs, to facilitate counting, storage, and inventory control. Automated systems first align the edges to ensure the notes are perfectly squared and not offset. The bundles are then lightly compressed to stabilize their shape and secured with paper bands or specialized straps printed with identification codes. Each bundle carries information such as denomination, quantity, production shift, and packaging time. This bundling process is tightly controlled to prevent mixed denominations or quantity errors. Only bundles that meet exact specifications are consolidated into larger packs, ready for storage and distribution according to the central bank's issuance schedule. After bundling, the bank notes move on to the packing and boxing stage. Here, bundles of the same denomination are grouped in regulated quantities and placed into specialized containers designed to protect the banknotes during storage and transportation. Each box is lined with moisture-resistant materials and securely fixed to prevent shifting in transit. The exterior is sealed and labeled with complete information, including denomination, total number of notes, batch code, production date, and distribution destination. All of this data is synchronized with the central bank's management system. The boxing process takes place in a tightly controlled environment under continuous surveillance. Only boxes that are sealed according to strict specifications are allowed to leave the production area, ready for secure storage or shipment to issuance points across the country. During the distribution stage, security extends far beyond the transport vehicles themselves and covers the entire handover process. Before leaving the vault, each box of banknotes is sealed with a special security seal that can only be opened by breaking it, allowing any sign of tampering to be detected immediately. Transportation is carried out using specialized cash and transit vehicles equipped with sealed compartments, mechanical locks combined with electronic locking systems, and GPS tracking that monitors location in real time. Routes are not completely fixed, but are adjusted dynamically to reduce the risk of surveillance or interception. Throughout the journey, the vehicles are accompanied by trained security personnel, coordinating closely with guards at transfer and delivery points. Every stop, loading, or handover requires multi-layer verification, including document checks, batch code matching, seal inspection, and signatures from multiple independent parties. From raw cotton fibers, 
with security elements embedded while the material is still wet, through multiple stages of printing, cutting, inspection, and distribution under strict security, the journey of a peso banknote is the result of technical discipline and close coordination between people and machines. When a banknote rests quietly in your wallet, few consider the complex operational system behind it, one designed to protect trust in the national currency. Every detail, no matter how small, plays a role in ensuring that the value you hold is genuine, stable, and able to circulate safely for many years. This journey shows that money is not just a means of payment, but also a product of technology, security, and economic responsibility. If you found this process interesting, leave a comment to share your thoughts. And don't forget to follow the channel to continue exploring the hidden industrial and technological processes behind the everyday objects we use.